few months back, I did a video, Reticulum Basics for Everyday Users, and it was a general overview. And I, as I progressed down my path, I decided that today we should do something a little more about how to get started. And we'll go into a little bit of the why. I'll give you a few reasons on why you might consider, and one of them you probably maybe haven't already considered. So if you don't know anything about Reticulum, then jump back to the other video, I'll have it linked below, and then come back to this video uh, and you'll have a better understanding of just what Reticulum is. Now, to get started, if you already have some sort of Android device, you know, phone, a tablet, you've got a laptop or a desktop computer, you can do this without spending any money. You don't have to go out and buy any fancy devices or anything like that. You just download some software, or download APK file for your phone, sideload it. It's not available um, on the, you know any of the Google Play stores or anything like that. You have to go to GitHub, and I'll show you where to get that and where to get that, and go over some of the basics of that application, and then the basics of the desktop software that you can use on your computer. Reasons. One, probably the most common is you've already used something like Meshtastic or MeshCore and you've heard about Reticulum and you're thinking, well, maybe I heard it has more capabilities. It has more options for communicating, not just using a LoRa radio. Now, you're correct, it does, <laughs> but um, that's probably, that is a good reason, right? The next reason you might not have considered especially with the either one mesh chat on your on your laptop or sideband on a Android device, you can use those with just your already provided internet services or cellular services as a normal everyday texting app. You can send files, you can send voice messages, um, you can do all that, but removed from all those centralized databases, all those centralized servers that are being data mined more and more every day. So if you're looking to take another little chunk out of the, and pull yourself away from some of these centralized services, you can simply use it for that and never connect an R node to it, you know, never connect a LoRa radio to it, never connect a TNC and connect some sort of other radio to it. You could just use it for that. Simple as that. So let's take a look at Mesh Chat first because that that was my path. Installed on my laptop, and then I installed Sideband on two different Android devices. So the first place you're going to want to start is on GitHub. I'll provide the link down below, and this is where you're going to get Mesh Chat. Now, if you just go down, if you're not familiar with GitHub, you go down to where the releases are, click on that. It's going to take you the most recent release that just released about two weeks ago here in, uh, in November of 2025. Download version 2.3.0. And once it's downloaded, obviously you're going to pick, or first you're going to pick what type of device you're using. You're using a Linux device, you're using Mac, you're using a Windows installer or Windows portable. Um, typically, or for me, using currently using a windows windows computer so therefore this is the one i downloaded i just re-downloaded it because uh, i had the last version so i just updated it today all right once you have installed you're now in mesh chat and you're not going to see everything you see on mine first thing you need to do is set up your interface and you're going to have your default interface, which is typically your internet connection through Ether or Wi-Fi. And then your test net that you're going to connect to. I'm currently connected to the Michigan Mesh test net. A lot of the other documentation online will tell you, hey, connect to the Between the Borders or the test net Amsterdam. Um, I have those. So that's where I started. And then I disabled them and connected to the, mesh, the Michigan Mesh one i will provide some links down below to help guide you through some of that stuff and as you join communities you'll start to learn there's more out there now that you have that set you can go back to messages 
Once again, you're not going to see conversations until you've actually had conversations. You can find people's announcements over here. And then you look down here. This is where your announcements are on MeshNet. You can announce now or you can set intervals of how often you want it to announce. Um, so here, if you go to compose and you know somebody's LXMF address, then you can send them a message or you can find them here if you happen to know who these people are. <laughs> so, all right. Now, Network Visualizer is a cool tool just to kind of visualize what's going on. You know, you can see that uh, here's my MCOM Solutions terminal, and then there is the, the Michigan Mesh testnet that I'm connected to, and all the other people that are connected to that. And then out through here, you're going to see where one of my phones is connected through that. And then I have another one that just has it announced recently, so it's not on there. So that's how that works. Now, tools, ping, and there are no flasher. Our no flashing will be in the next video. Settings, here's where you can change some of your settings. Some of them are set up by default. Um, and then you can adjust this as necessary. Local propagation node is something I remember selecting that one so that it would help to uh, help the mesh network anyways all right so that's pretty much mesh chat you're probably going to start here as i talked about in the beginning and then you're going to branch out to things like nomad network you know start favoriting places that you like and you can find those through announcements or through the visualizer so now on to sideband all right, so I'll show you where you get the APK file for sideband. The latest version right now is 1.8.0. I just updated both of my phones with that, but it's over on GitHub too, like once again, the link below. And you, you download sideband, so you look right here. Typically what you're looking for is the APK file. Uh, it, and you download that. If you're doing it on your phone, then it's just gonna download locally. If you do it on a computer, you download it and you'll have to send it to your phone uh, and then install it. So once you hit it, or once you, once you download it and you click on it, it will install the application on your phone. Uh, if you're updating like I just did, you do the same process and then you tap on it. You have to have the app closed uh, and it will update your phone with the latest version of that application so let's go over to the phone and just look at some of the features on there all right so the the phone application it's fairly similar uh you know there's some different features you know, obviously you have your conversations you have situational map announcement stream this is where you're going to see those announcements um you don't have nomad net uh, on your on your phone so you're only going to have basically mesh chat or sideband is, you know, it's using the same, it's going to the same place. And then <clears throat> you can do voice, telemetry, utilities, preferences, hardware. This is where you would go in and connect different hardware, R node, radio modem, and serial port. So you can do, um, obviously this is where you would connect a radio modem, like a TNC to this. So then you can look in here and see, you know, obviously you have sent some messages. If you want to send a message, you just go in and send a message like this. And then it just sent the message to the mesh chat on my computer. If you want to send something like voice or files, you go into that little paper clip and here you go. Low band with images, medium, high res, low band voice and high quality voice or file attachments. So see how you could use this as a normal chatting messaging app, basically. So this could replace some of your other messaging. Uh, and then you know that it is encrypted and also not being stored in some central cloud server somewhere. That's pretty much the app. There's a, there's a lot more features to it. Uh, we won't get into the in depth into that today. Well, I'll show you one other thing. You can also do 
go to utilities, this is where you can also access the R node flasher here and flash your device. I have not done that yet. And status log view and advanced RNS configurations. And then the little speaker looking thing, that's an announcement that's announcing me again on the mesh. So as you saw there, Sideband and mesh chat can easily be used to replace things like email services and message apps on your phone. Just giving you a little bit more control of your information. Along with that, it gives you the opportunity to learn more about reticulum before you start doing things like R nodes or connecting, you know, a radio modem and connecting your ham radios or other radios to that network stack. And that's the next step for me. Next video, will be on flashing R nodes and then connecting them to your phone or your end user device. Um, and then after that, we will cross that road when we get there, is connecting a radio modem and connecting up an amateur radio to that. So I hope you found this useful. You can help support the channel by subscribing, hitting that thumbs up. Let me know what questions, what other information you're looking for about Reticulum down below in the comments. Check out our social media website links all down below. Thanks for watching.